legacy is tied to teams. So I think much more about the players over those years that were instrumental in contending a win. And I've already said it once, I'm not going to say it again because it's, it's just like repeating. When you're part of a situation that opened for 10 years and you have less than a handful of players, which I've now said is like free. And if you're in St. Louis and you have a handful of players which is less than free, if that's a taint, to some extent with people, or whatever, to a large extent, then that's, this is America, you're free to your opinion. I feel very good about uh, the same things that we've encouraged starting with Chicago and right through now. You come to the park on time, you play hard, concentrate on playing the game right, you beat your butt off, tip your cap if you get beat, and enjoy the wins. To what degree do you think the accomplishments of Mark and Jose are tainted, though, now that they've both admitted to this? Well, I mean, uh, you know, what I, I, what I said uh, about Jose. Jose was and probably still is, in my opinion, one of the greatest athletes of any player that I've been around as a teammate. Uh, and I just think in Jose's case, human nature, he got rich at a young age, and it happens to a lot of guys, and all of a sudden he got distracted. Now, you know, I can't, you know, I don't begin to understand or, or really know when he got involved. I don't know. But uh, I was very close to Jose, and to this day, I still think he's one of the brightest, you know, as far as aptitude for baseball. He has great talent, and his body betrayed him. And when he got a little smarter, he just started getting hurt, hurt, hurt. And uh, at the end, the end, he very disappointed that his career got away from him, and I think he was upset and thought he'd been blackballed. And lately, I've been reading him, you know, it seems like maybe he's getting older, and he think, well, maybe it's just a couple of bad breaks for him late. There really wasn't anybody in baseball that was saying, you can't play. But... Uh, I think a lot in my mind with Jose was he just got a five-year contract when he was in his 20s, and which happens to a lot of guys. All of a sudden, they, you know, they get distracted by the fame and fortune and forget ABC. Which in our game, if you forget ABC, you're not as good. Are in you Mark's case, I mean, this is his uh, college player of the year, rookie of the year, 49 home runs, still stands. He's got this amazing talent to just flip the ball. His timing is, he just clicks at the right time, just like a golfer, you know, doesn't swing that hard and the ball goes. And I think as he got into the explanation that day, um, I mean, I even read, uh, I read once and heard once, which, which since I have an opinion, the, the, my, the credibility of that person that wrote it, one person that said it, but, you know, that, I, I discount that person. Those, you know, those people, because if you can look at Mark's uh, conversation with Casas and think that that was rehearsed and staged in a performance, I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I've only heard two people that have even questioned that. I mean, his emotion was true, it was real. Uh, I think that one point that he was making was, was misunderstood some, and he could have done a much better job explaining it, and I don't know that he would back up. That, that uh, how he feels about his numbers being enhanced. I know that's been really hit. I just know that he took the stuff to keep his body playing, and so he probably got extra games, and he's hitting a homer every 10 to bats. That means his numbers were enhanced. But what he was, I think the point he was making is he worked so hard to develop his stroke and the, the knowledge of the competition between the pitcher and the hitter. And with that stroke, he gets that underspin, which is what we all saw, and it's one of the things that I think he can teach. Uh, I think that was one of the points he was making. It's kind of mis misunderstood. So I watched Mark develop into a really smart uh, hitter. And uh, what he learned about concentration was right up there with uh, some of the greatest because he could focus as well as anybody. And that's what we hope he can teach. Hey, Tony, when